Hello and welcome back and today we want to answer a very simple question. Is the Synology DS920 Plus still worth buying in 2021? Now this was released in early summer 2020 so right now at time of recording we're under a year since it was released but with a lot of hardware we think about buying these things for the first time or investing in a new piece of technology or an old piece of technology we look at what it is we see what it does and then we go right let's find out when did it come out oh my god it came out eight nine months ago has something better come along and that's ultimately what this video is about. I want to talk about what you get for your money, what has changed in almost a year between this unit being released and now, and ultimately, should you consider getting it on balance. So firstly, let's talk about what we're getting for your money, nice and simple. This is the one of their premium, I say premium, it's kind of their featured or fully featured four bay devices. It takes advantage of a Celeron processor, the Intel J4125 currently, which is a quad core uh, 2.0 gigahertz, 2.7 gigahertz processor. It's got four gig of a DDR4 memory at 2,666 megahertz. It has got those four SATA bays there on the front. It has got two NVMe SSD bays at the base for it. It has got on the rear, it's got a couple of LAN ports there at one GBE each. It has got an eSATA expansion port to add five more drives, and it has got an external PSU of 100 watts uh, that allows you to power the device there, and a USB port, of course, there at the back for uh, supported external devices. Now, a lot of the features I've just described there, and I'm, again, I'm going to praise you this if you want to see the full review. We've done all that last year. But this device's hardware specification right now might sound a little bit modest. Because firstly, you're looking at those one GBE ports, no doubt, and going, not much. And the other thing you might be thinking about there is, of course, that Intel Celeron processor. Now, a few things straight off the bat. When this device was announced last year and eventually released, a lot of people did criticize it for having only one GBE on the rear with a bunch of other brands out there moving into 2.5 and 5 GBE and the cost of 10 GBE being a lot better. So that's going to be a very important point when going for this device because one GBE is starting to become slower than a lot of people's internet speeds affordably. I mean, it's always kind of always been high high forming internet connections in home and business environments for the last few years becoming available, but they've become a lot more affordable worldwide right now. One of the last things you want from a NAS is to be slower than the internet that you can get, because then a lot of a NAS's advantages beyond that, of course, of security and having physical bare metal data start to be undercut quite substantially. The other thing with this device since it's released last year is this idea about that CPU inside because um, a lot of generations of NAS families get released or upgraded or refurbished every um, 18 months to about two and a half years. This device was no exception to that with its predecessor arriving two and a half to three years prior to it in the 918 plus and two years prior to that. So there is probably a revision of this device that's either going to be announced um, in one form or another on this platform or whatever at the end of 2021 or a full release with no kind of reveal in any way in 2022. So the result is going to be that buying this now, you want to know whether how, import, uh, how important your data is going to be right now when you're thinking of buying this. Because you could hold off, but you know we're talking 6, 12, maybe even 18 months from now. How important is that data flow and how big an upgrade would the newer unit after this be? I think it will likely be uh, an N5000 series Celeron in the next family after this. If you had to put you know, a gun to my head and ask, I do hope they abandon 1GBE because it's appalling that they're still sticking with 1GBE. Um, but I think ultimately a revision of the 920 in the far off future is kind of going to be what you're looking at here. The expandability won't change. The CPU will probably remain as a Celeron, but again, an N5000 series, I'm willing to estimate there. And I think maybe 2.5 GBE, very unlikely you'd see 10 GBE on this device. I think NVMe would feature, but ultimately, and maybe you're going to watch this video in a year's time and go, ah, mug, you were wrong. But I don't think those kind of upgrades, you know, even within that ballpark, would justify a year to year, a year and a half waiting time. So that's a reason why this is 
still the best four bay that Synology have got out there. Not only because it's the best one in their current lineup, but also because I think enough time is left in this product's lifespan that to wait for an upgrade would be a loss in terms of financial gain in the grand scheme of things. Um, now, another thing to bear in mind about this device, it's very, very important, is that CPU again, that J4125, because that Celeron CPU has been very, very popular for the last year or so. We've seen it feature not only on these devices, but a number of competitor devices as well. But also, Intel have a habit of re, kind of, um, revisiting and refreshing their CPUs and the effects of the pandemic and the effects on the supply chain on a number of key components has been clocked and noticed by a number of users and there's every possibility that the CPU inside this device and not so much this device but by Intel themselves that they'll have abandoned the production of the J4125 already in entirety and moved to the next Celeron in that family ref refresh, which will be likely that in um, the 5000 series there that we've just talked about. If that happens, then there's every possibility that this device will either um, be re um, re uh, produced as a plus two version, as we saw in the 16 series, in the 916 and 716, where they went plus two, uh, when the Braswell ended up being re uh, revisited and um, uh, refreshed as a series so that might happen or that's a way in which Synology might kickstart the next iteration of their series a fraction early and that's going to be the important detail now right now I can't see anything like that happening until the autumn I just can't see it and even then statistically very unlikely for either one of those to happen because when these devices are produced the components are purchased in a large scale bulk so this will be something that will be revisited as each kind of uh, build and manufacture order is placed. So something like that would make ripples a lot sooner. So I don't think that's enough of a reason not to invest in this system now. So right now, if you are considering the DS920 Plus, those are some good reasons why you could wait and some good reasons why there's no reason to wait. Ultimately, you have to make the decision about what you buy is best for you because a lot of you, when you're looking at a NAS solution, may have procrastinated for months anyway, or you've decided to be you're working from home and making it a lot more long term, or you wanted to create your own media setup. If this is a device right now that has come into your crosshairs of your budget, gone into your crosshairs of the power and output of what you need for your money in terms of storage and ability, then trust me, if Synology and this device was the one you were looking at, it's good to still go for it now. And it definitely doesn't undercut it as a suitable solution both now and in many many months to come if you're watching this video you know in autumn september to october 2021 very different story if you're watching this right now in spring summer 2020 right now at time of recording i think 920 is still a very solid now to go for and if you do want to go for it or you need to find guides or the full review and breakdown of what this device can do then please bang that subscribe button and go through the library there's loads of videos on this device to help you see if it really is the best solution for you if you have enjoyed this video click like and of course visit the links in the description to lots of guides and information on not only this nas but lots of other network attached storage to look at right now in 2021 but otherwise i hope you found this helpful and i will see you next time